The Nikon Z6 and Atomos Ninja 5 shooting 4K Apple ProRes RAW have redefined the professional video world forever. In this video we'll take you through how to set up the Z6 with the Ninja 5 for Apple ProRes RAW capture. Follow the same setup for Nikon Z7. The Z6 is a compact mirrorless camera with a full frame sensor. The camera Z mount allows you to access native Z lenses for superior optical performance, as well as a wide range of adapted lenses. But with the addition of a Ninja 5, you've got the capacity to capture ProRes RAW over HDMI, all in a 4K UHD resolution up to 30p. The video can be stored on fast and reliable Atomex SSD drives. Easy to edit on Apple Final Cut Pro. You can also edit on PC with EDIUS with support for other leading NLA software on the way. Connect a mini HDMI cable to the Nikon Z6 and the Ninja 5. Let's take a look at the in-camera settings on the Nikon Z6. Turn on the Nikon Z6. Rotate the command dial to manual mode. Switch capture mode from still to video. Press menu. Navigate to custom setting menu. Select timers AE lock. Power off delay. Set standby timer to no limit. Navigate to setup menu. HDMI. Advanced. Set external recording to on. Head to raw output options. Set raw output to enable. Set raw output mode to preferred resolution. Let's set up the timecode feature for external recording. Head to movie shooting menu, timecode. Set record timecodes to on with HDMI output. Set count up method to record run. Set timecode origin to current time. The Z6 setup is complete. Now it's time to set up the Ninja 5. Press the power button. The Ninja 5 will automatically detect the incoming RAW signal. Press confirm to switch to ProRes RAW. Tap top left for input menu. Set trigger to HDMI for camera control. Let's set up the timecode function. Tap on the timecode indicator. Set source to HDMI. Tap on the audio meters. Toggle channels with selected audio inputs. With those steps completed, you're all set to record ProRes RAW on the Nikon Z6 and the Ninja 5. Watch out for upcoming videos on how to expose correctly for Nikon RAW. Thanks for watching, now go get creative.